Okay, um, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. All depends the part of the world you are joining us from. I am Mazi Chika Austin, and uh, I'm here once again to let us have discussion uh, certain discussions that um, we have not as a people taking it as a responsibility to research you know certain things we talk about peripherally we in a true sense of it we do not we have not really taken a deeper understanding of how it works and one of those topics we want to talk about extensively when i mean extensively unlike some of the programs uh, i used to have uh, those days we really want to make a proper dissection of the topic I want to talk about this very moment, uh, you try as much as you can to, to get it shared so that uh, people can as well join on this very moment uh, lecture or whatever you choose to call it. So the topic we want to talk about this evening is infiltrator or the act of infiltration we want to talk about it because most of us in a true understanding of how people who we are here before us i'm talking about when it comes to struggle for self-determination people who had fought for it in their different areas, in their different locations, in their different uh, jurisdictions. They also experienced it. Because, you know, there are certain things you see our people talking about. If you, if you have done an extensive research, you just smile and uh, laugh over it because truly people do not really really understand um how this thing works and that's why i think it's very, very important we talk about it it's very very important uh, we discuss about it so you have to share the program you have to relate it as much as you can but it's a very very interesting topic to look into so we want to talk about infiltration you see sometimes we talk about international politics we talk about international development and people with some people with ulterior motive try to say no 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 uh, you have you have abandoned the struggle you are talking is because most people there are two factors that can make somebody to opinionate on that line there are two you know logically submitted factors that can make somebody to come up and say hey chica austin what you, you are not talking about international politics, you are not talking about Biafran any longer. Hey, yo. There are two factors. One is the factor of the individual not actually understanding reality. Because when you don't, when you are not abreast with reality, you definitely get crazy and the hunger for stories that appears to be real but not real in a true sense of it that is one factor so those whose mental capacity leverages on 
issues that you know stories that look so fantastic that look so sweet you know stories that seems to be attractive but in a true sense of it lack context when you have those individuals you see them opinionating on that they say no no we don't want to international politics is not uh, just tell us biafra and they fail to understand that where, where Biafra is today is as a result of international politics. It's international interest conflict. And this is what most of us do not understand. That is on the one angle. Another angle of some persons who come or who opinionate on that line are, you know, agents. These are agents who, who wants to use a Titus called Shout Him Down uh, Titus. How does this Titus work? When somebody wants to, when you see that somebody is speaking on a very sensitive and a disturbing topic that is enlightening the people, that is exposing certain knowledges on the people. So agents all over the world, mostly they come, they attack. They attack you not because what you're saying is not important or they don't understand the relevancy of what you're saying, but they feel like if we attack him, he can stop. We could stop him through attack. If we, att if we launch attack on him, if we shout down on him, we could by an extent. If he's somebody that is not mentally tough or that doesn't understand how the Titus works, the person have to, you know, hey, uh, some persons are attacking me. Maybe let me not be talking about international politics. Let me now go on local events. That is simply because even the speaker itself or the one doing on that part lack understand, lack understanding on how psychological manipulations work. It's not somebody like me because I have extensively researched I have extensively engaged I have extensively you know contributed in mental remodeling so I can't be victim of it far from me I can't be victim of it that somebody comes and say hey, because you type you are no longer talking about Biafra then I pedal down no 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 because all those acts, all those titles, all those strategies are things I have extensively researched on, are things I have, you know, uh, I have also practically engaged on it. So you must understand this. So we are talking about infiltration. Basically, that is what we are talking about. Why do we want to discuss about infiltration? Remember, you, you, it's important to share this program. Very, very important. Because the program is educating. It's very, very educating. It's enlightening. It's going to open your eyes to so many things. So that you understand how the world functions. Because one shocking thing is this. Your ignorance of how the world functions does not stop the world from functioning at its model i repeat your ignorance of how the world functions does not stop the world from functioning on its own template it doesn't stop the world even when you fend even when you know and choose to fend not to know it absolutely does not stop the world from trading on the path at which it has been modeled to. So that's why the best thing we can do to ourselves as a people is to be abreast, to have a liberal mind to understand these dynamics. For instance, you choose to say, no, the sun rises from the south. It's your own opinion, but it doesn't stop the sun from rising up from 
the east is a natural thing so it is a natural thing so either you tell yourself the truth and be abreast to the fact that the sun rises from the east or you you remain in your illusion that it rises from the south your illusion is your illusion reality is also reality is there's one thing i want us to understand that is one thing i want every single one of us seeking for self-determination to understand your emotion your self-denial your mental disposition self-willed mental disposition if it negates the principle of realism it doesn't stop anything. You can you can make your noise, you can shout, you can talk as much as you want to talk. Nobody stops you. But the truth remains, reality will keep on staring at you. That is how life works. And that's why the only people who have made progress in life are those rates that got abreast with reality. Not emotions, not illusion, not entertainment. So, one of those things we want to talk extensively this evening is infiltrators. Infi the act of infiltration. Because it's an act. As a matter of fact, when you ask an average Biafran, over 80% of Biafrans, the only thing we know is saboteurs. We are familiar with that word saboteurs or sabotage, as the case may be. But we do not know the science of infiltration. Or if we go by the noun, this act or the efficacy, the power, the level of penetration, the level of damage an infiltrator can make. We don't know that. Because we grew up, our father started telling us the story of saboteurs. That is the one that we are familiar with. So, I want us to understand that saboteurs are different from infiltrators. These are two different areas of responsibilities. Somebody might be an infiltrator, but not sabotaging anything. I want you to understand this is, is a kind of um, issue of um, semantic language issue. Well, I will try to simplify it. I will try to break it down so that every single one of us will understand it. Our fathers understand saboteurs and they handed over that language to us and we became so familiar with saboteurs. That's why anyone that is suspected, anyone that is having a wumbling position, in most cases we say it's a saboteur. But I want to tell you that there is something, there is a character that is more dangerous than a saboteur. That role or that character position is called infiltrator. Now, when you look at the sticker above, you say, what does infiltrator mean? So that, let us borrow knowledge from a popular definition for better understanding of what we are talking about. You say, what does infiltrator mean? Meaning of infiltrator English. A person who secretly becomes part of a group. Now, the word here, secret, does not necessarily mean the person did not join through a leaden procedure. The secret here means it connotes the agenda the individual has in his mind. That is where the secrecy lies. 
secretly joining here does or become part does not necessarily mean does not literally mean that the person when he joined the group was not known no the secret here means his ulterior motive the unseen intention the unseen mission the unseen and unfelt plan he has to achieve within the movement the organization or the group that is what it means so is a a person who secretly becomes part of a group in order to get information that is one key role of an infiltrator he targets information why targeting information because every information he is targeted at is to be exported he goes after information he wants to know the structure of the group he wants to know their financial status he wants to know their department departmental status or structure he wants to even know about their organizational structure in order to export those information to the enemy so remember information is the key target and of course in most cases it is a super detective intelligence for you to understand an infiltrator in fact sophisticated countries find it difficult in most cases to detect infiltrators how much more the black race that love illusion stories when you tell them you're going to get worship tomorrow you see them make, jumping up so i'm talking about a race that believe in critical observation talking about western race that believe in critical observation most times it is very difficult to detect to checkmate the presence of an infiltrator if it's difficult to detect for the western races or race as the case may be to detect do you think it will be easy for the black race that love stories that love entertainment that love you know illusions and fantasies do you think it will be a difficult thing that's why the best place to operate as an infiltrator and survive is in the black communities even in us go and verify go and find out the most successful places cia mossad have run a chain of infiltrate infiltrators as agents are mainly on the black race undetected because black man from the beginning loves wealth loves stories loves women is to lose so you tell him something big is coming tomorrow he says a man and jumps off and falls down because his mental capacity most times had robbed him the opportunity to ask critical critical questions and critically examine his environment so he said infiltrator is a person take note of this a person who secretly becomes part i told you the word secret there does not necessarily mean he enters the group through secret channel no it is his intention his motive that is how that is the connotative meaning of the word secrecy he said 
who secretly becomes part of a group in order to get information to influence the way the group thinks so apart from getting information the modus operandi of the group the next thing he does is to do what we call distortion distort the movement of that group not because he's coming to block on their way and say don't move again no if the group thinks about for instance non-violence he makes sure he influences them to start thinking about violence remember he's an infiltrator so he has an he has a project to achieve not destroying the people through forceful means is a very subtle it's not forceful it's a subtle approach so first of all he has a core titles these are how you detect them first of all they target the information they want to know within a short period of time they want to know everything about the movement about the group they have, they have infiltrated on within a very short time they want to get to the climax of that group to understand everything pick information pick information here pick information here pick randomly scout for information then when they gather that information they not target the way the group thinks if the group is thinking left they'll be thinking right why because there is agenda of planting mental confusion because if, the, if everybody is thinking left there is high propensity of achieving success but by the time people are so what is going in their brain is it left is it right no no it could be center no let me check let me try back word okay let me do left by the time people get into ideological confusion this is the work of an infiltrator. By the time he successfully distort or treat how the people think, he has achieved the first project because he has successfully planted diffused mentality or should I say mindset. So, influence the way the group thinks or behaves. He makes sure the way the people we are known for, if they were known as a peaceful movement, he has to influence it. He has to change it. This is not my definition. I, what the sticker I projected above is not my definition. It's a, it's a public definition. So it's on a public space. If you type it on your gadget, you source it. I'm just interpreting and analyzing, simplifying day-to-day -day definition of a character of an infiltrator. That is what. He said the infiltrator was identified and kill okay they were trying to make a statement with it so when you understand how the work of infiltrator first of all he comes secretly he disguises he insidiously penetrates he acts as if he's one of them immediately he enters he starts targeting information centers he wants to know everything about that group or movement. This is the definition, public definition. He began to target the key information centers. Then when he gets those information, he starts reprogramming the minds of those members of the group. If they were thinking left, he started telling them right is the best. Yeah. If they are thinking right, he started telling them center is the best. You know, most of you are not, most of us are too babyish in mind, irrespective of our age. From this definition, you can now understand the sequential 
approach or methodology of infiltrator. How they roll. They first of all enter, then the target key information area, they get closer to centrality of information because they want to understand. Then when they think they have, a, they have gotten the information, they start changing everything. For instance, in the case of Belfran struggle, when the infiltrator thought he has gotten everything, he started telling mm -hmm. people about what he do. That the project should not be Biafra, it should be do. <laughs> and when IPOB contended and fought against that, those who sent him told him, if you start talking about it, do it do. This is what will dictate your character. The gullibles you have convinced. We, we invariably understand and switched back. So, fall back to the name Biafra. <laughs> Concentrate on that Biafra. Because he wanted to switch. He do, you remember the era of he do nonsense. I remember I, I, I had a friend in Germany. She was a hardcore. During the time of Idu, the Idu nonsense got to her head. And she was deceived. We parted her anyway. I blocked her in everything, WhatsApp. Because I didn't want to offend her in language. So all I do in order to get her respect and thought for her, I, I caught any means of all the means of uh, you know relationship whatsapp whatever get, got her blocked and when the infiltrator discovered that pushing on it too we unmask him easily he went back because he knew that would have undermined now let me not tell you people because why do we choose to talk about infiltrators why we choose to talk about infiltrators today is because our people only understand saboteurs every one of us talks about hey, it's a saboteur saboteur without even understanding the meaning of a saboteur whom a saboteur is without understanding whom a saboteur is. When you understand whom a saboteur is, then you will know that it is obviously different from an infiltrator. They are not in any way the same. And that is why, because we only understand saboteur, those who are oppressing us, our oppressors are now using the area we are not familiar with, which is infiltrator. Who is a saboteur? Every one of us, over 80% of us is familiar with saboteur. Hey, he's a saboteur. Hey, she's a saboteur. But in a true sense of it, IPOV is not dealt with currently by saboteurs. Do you know why? Because IPOV is not in war. Our fathers knew about saboteurs because our fathers were in war. Where you see saboteurs or sabotage is mostly in warfare. We don't have saboteurs now. What we have are infiltrators. Our fathers had saboteurs because they were on military engagement. Or should I say military defense. Are we in war? 
I'm talking about conventional war. No. So, that is why our oppressors are dealing with us with infiltrators, not saboteurs. These are two different things. You see why we, we need to educate you is this. Why we need to educate you is this. Your, your, your refusal to step up if you refuse to screw up yourself, that is your business. It doesn't change anything. For instance, if I said, I don't want to eat today, will it negate the fact that tomorrow will come? Absolutely not. There is, there is a mindset we must have as a people. The mindset of reality, not the mindset of you know, wombling and all sort of things. Now, look at, let me now show you who my saboteur is. Because our people always say, hey, she's a saboteur. We don't have saboteurs. We have infiltrators. These are two different things. Now, you say, a saboteur, a person who secret, okay, that is infiltrator. Now, saboteur says, look at the sticker there. What is the full meaning of a sub of a sub of saboteur? He said, a saboteur is a person who deliberately damages. Take note of that. Who deliberately damages or destroy things such as machines. Take note of that. Railway lines and bridges in order to weaken the enemy or to make a protest. So our fathers were calling saboteurs, saboteurs because they were in war theater. So those who were damaging their machines, sabotaging pass areas of passages, destroying the Biafran infrastructures, so there must be a physical destruction. That's what makes a saboteur. So when you see our people today calling saboteurs, some of us will look and laugh. It shows our level of ignorance. And our oppressors sometimes, they, they listen to us, they laugh. They also know, they say these are, they, these are just charlatans. They are just illiterates. Now they don't know anything. And of course you can't contend that. We don't have saboteurs, we have infiltrators. Saboteurs only showcase where there is war. Let me give you a clear instance. Immediately, Ukraine-Russian war broke out. Russian pipeline was sabotaged. It wasn't the work of infiltrators that did it. It was the operations of saboteurs. That can only happen in the midst of war. Our fathers were familiar with the word saboteurs because they were in war. So those who were contracted by the enemy damages a lot of Biafran infrastructures in order to undermine, frustrate, and weaken the Biafran side. But when there is no war, just the way we are yet now, we are not fighting a conventional war, what we have a bunch of infiltrators and that is why you must remove your mind or lessen the attention of your mind from this idea of saboteur, saboteur and start learning about how infiltrators work. The more you talk about saboteur, the more you are beating ignorance and almost a zero knowledge of which character oppress at which time? Very, very important. Because we, 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 over 80% of us always talk saboteur. He's a saboteur. He's a saboteur. You don't have a saboteur. You're not at all. And because we are discussing what is not relevant, 
we now become vulnerable for influence of infiltrators. What we have today are infiltrators. And like I told us earlier, or like the definition says, a, a person who secretly becomes a part of a group. So what does infiltrators do? They gently become part of the struggle. When you shout watch naked, they also shout watch naked. But it's easy to unmask them if you so desire. Why we must teach you? Why we must keep on hammering on you understanding international politics and development is because those areas you are ignorance at is where the oppressors are using to undermine us. Hey, I don't want to hear about politics. Chick Austin, talk about local issues. And that's why you are local, you know, you, you don't understand anything. You don't understand absolutely anything. And you are shouting, Biafra, Biafra, shouting. And somebody, just like somebody came up and told to me, and, and told me many, many time ago, that uh, the chief infiltrator said he's going to uh, import worship. He's going to import what I look at the person and the person, of course, absolutely subscribing to that. And I sat the person, of course, it's so shocking. The person calls himself a graduate. I sat the person down and said to him, I said, hmm. Oh, you believe in okay? Even a few days ago, someone was telling me that. Uh, the chief infiltrator told them he was he's going to launch a mod can do this. I look at I said there is our the brain of our people are terribly damaged. Yes, terribly damaged. I don't want to digress, but let me tell you something. Do you know the first thing a people who want to be free they pursue vigorously? I wish I have a call line where most of us could call, call in so that we discuss because if there is a call line, some persons will call, obviously to tell me, you know, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But let me tell you something. The first thing every people on this planet who had pursued, remember my language, who had pursued freedom, or who are pursuing freedom, the first thing they pursue is international relations. I will tell you the reason why is the first, the paramount thing you must seek for. Having an international friends and allies. I will tell you why it's important, because most of us are very, very, our brain, something is terribly happening. I wonder if we are, if we are humans. Now, you see, when Fidel Castro in 1950s, so many of us are younger to understand the date, but I want to tell you a story. There's a man known as Batiza. Batiza was a leader of Cuba, but he was a Western, he was pro-West. America, he was just American boy or man, so to say. And the people of Cuba were not happy with Batiza because he was so corrupt, so reckless, mismanaging the economy. But the West, America, never cared over his behavior because Cuba, from Cuba to Miami, Miami is the capital of Florida. It's just like you're traveling from, in fact, from Cuba, you're seeing Florida. You just have to cr cross the water. Just like somebody, you know, being in um, Ogo, in Enugu, seeing Okiwe. Somebody, in, you are in Ogo, in the hills of Ogo. You are seeing Okiwe. That's just the. 
how proximity it is. So America never cared what Batista was doing because Batista was pro Western leader. Now, certain group of people were dissatisfied with the corruption, a lot of things happening in Cuba under Batista. They decide to seek for freedom. They sought for freedom. They did not in any way start making noise, start shouting the way some idiots are shouting because they are infiltrators. The first thing they did was to start looking for relationship. I will tell you why it's paramount. They went to the USSR as a den, the Russians, had a relationship with them, and Russia gave them the support, Dover through Batiza. They struck and defeated Batiza and became in control of Cuba. Why did they sought for foreign relations? It's simple. There is nobody on earth, there is no people on earth that have ever had the resources to procure what it takes to defeat the enemy. No people. History has never told us anyone. History has never told us anyone. And if there have any people who attempted that, they always fail. I repeat, history has not shown us people who solemnly depend on themselves for struggle and win. There is no people. I stand to be corrected. I know there are people who are more intelligent, who are more researching than us. You can make use of the comment section to tell, to, to tell me I'm talking jargon. And put up, invoke your reference, your strong reference. So, it's not easy. You can never have the resources to not just only the resources for procurement, as in you want to buy war jet or you want to buy some even some assault rifles are really really expensive for you to procure apart from buying having the money even when you have the money to buy you also need international connections international relations you need state actors to help you to let those things get into your hands. If not, it will be. You see, that's why when I look at our people, how I don't want to sound so abusive. Mana, Oboraani, the empty, absolutely empty. Absolutely empty. Fidel Castro never achieved it let me also tell you in fact before fidel castro let me tell you for the state of israel the israel you're hearing today so many of us say is powerful is glorious and all this in 1948 when israel was confronting the arabs the neighbor the neighboring arab countries Israel never depended on her own. Israel maintained a strong international relations with the U.S. and others. And Israel never had the money to even prosecute war. They don't have it. Because when we tell our people, be reasonable, be, be reasonable, on a fair handshake, maka, maka. It was America that funded Israel for enable Israel to prosecute the 1948 war, 1956 war. 
1967 war and subsequent wars. Israel, even till tomorrow, Israel doesn't have the financial strength. That's why America is still subsidizing Israeli Iron Dome. In American budget, America budgets for Israel's defense. Israel cannot, Israel, if Israel solemnly depends on herself to procure what she needs for her own defense, her economy will go zero. Now, if these powerful countries understand the importance of international relations, how much more? Mokoko we come and open mouth I will buy a private jet I'm bringing tanks tomorrow and the idiots will be jumping up and down I'm, I'm mentioning powerful nations let me also invoke a strong reference for you the essence of invoking all these references is let your brain open Madewatu is the worst thing that can ever happen to anyone. Let me also give you uh, another instance. This one is recent. Maybe the ones I've been calling, most of you who were born, not born in 1940s or in 1960s or 1950s might be saying, you always talk rubbish. You always talk old, old stories. Can't you talk about present? Let me give you present event. Because if you're repulsive to history you might want today own uh, talibans america was you know americans were occupying afghanistan this recent one uh, under joe biden so that i won't be stupid talking about old, old stories for those of you <laughs> who who hate realism, now Taliban's we are uh, Americans we are occupying Afghanistan, and the Taliban's remember they call them the West call them terrorists because whenever you oppose their interests, you become a terrorist. Why is, I, why is the West keeping quiet on IPOB's prescription? Because they are interested. Most of you do not know. Let me even shock most of you. You see, when people tell you they are from they are, it's this Niger Delta, South South, our oil. Let me tell you, the highest oil producing place. <laughs> or should I say? The most rich place in Africa is Ibo land. Most of you know, no. they won't tell you this. They won't tell you this. I mean, after Algeria, the highest place you have gas reserve is in Imo State. And the Western nations understand that. IPOB is an organized movement. If they allow IPOB to organize and sensitize the people, what is going in Ohaji Wema will not keep going. This, the terrible exploitation of gas reserve in Igbo land, people do not know the most richest place is in Igbo land. But that is a study in another day. Now, Taliban's, you know, Taliban's wanted freedom because they understood American occupation never meant well for them. You see, Taliban's, they had, you know, they never knew, or should I say, the Taliban's had some level of armament. At least they have AKs and all this. But irrespective of that, 
the Taliban started seeking for international relations. If it's some of you, with what Taliban, if, if, if some of us, some of us had what Taliban had, they will say, hey, let's give them water, water. You make a whole lot of noise. Because you don't understand how these things function. You don't understand. I want you to understand that. Taliban's pursuit, diplomacy of engagement, they engaged the Iranians, they engaged uh, uh, Pakistan, they engaged the Russians, the okay. North Koreans, the Chinese. These are Talibans. Because why? Or should I tell you the reason? There are certain equipments they cannot even lay hold. They cannot buy it. They need a state actor to be in receipt of it. Then the state actor they are in good time with needs to first of all procure it. I'm teaching you people or I'm, I'm revealing to us some black market things that happen. We have to know it for knowledge sake. Because if we know it, most of us will not be stupid. And it is heartbreaking that so many of us who have traveled wide, who claim we're educated, are very gullible. There are certain equipments a non-state actor can never be in possession of. You need a state actor to buy it. A state actor that is a friend of non-state actor will not ship it to the non-state actor. I will give you instance. A lot of things you see the Asura in Yemen using those guys in Yemen. These are Iranian procured equipment. Iran will buy, get the receipt of purchase because Iran is a state actor. She's a signatory to certain international conventions, Geneva Convention. So she's permitted to buy certain equipments. Iranians will buy and give it to though the assurance in Yemen, give it to Hezbollah in Lebanon, even extend it to Hamas. These non-state actors who are fighting for their own freedom cannot procure these things. So, but you know, an evil man who claims or who feels he's intelligent, somebody who comes up and says, I can make it you know, I will bring the dangerous one we are bringing is going to bring down the spacecraft. And he will start shouting, Hey, I put me a poop on your Diego. Because we never grew up knowing about all these things. And few of us who know about this, the government doesn't go far from them. Of course, the government shop them. Because no government will allow you to be reasonable. No government will allow you to be rational. But it is the, the, a healthy government is a government that makes her people to be gullible, and the low IQ. That's why even in America, go and research. Those of you who are, some of you are watching me from America. The highest place you have gullible people in America. CIA runs operation to make sure people don't know anything. People think the way government wants them to think, especially the black race. It's common in America. Some of you who are watching me from America can attest to that. There are a certain program of CIA, FBI, to make sure that even Americans are gullible. Because if they are, if their eyes are open, they will run the deep state. They will revolt. So if advanced countries run such programs, so how do you think a third world country like Nigeria will not run those programs? That's why they have flooded the social media with entertainers. So every week you see new story. You see new quarrel. You will be preoccupied with stupidity until you pack out of this life. Perhaps when you're 70, that is when you start crying. Oh, is that how these people have treated me? Assuming I knew, assuming I knew, assuming I knew. 
there's nothing assuming and there's nothing to know again because see you see grave i i i that is why we must educate us educate us to be informed so what am i trying to say the taliban had to meet these guys and those guys funded them until they got their freedom you see let me let me tell us this countries who funded taliban or who funded cuba under fidel castro or who funded ANC? Most of you don't know. The ANC of South Africa. When they wanted to fight for their freedom. When they wanted to fight for their freedom, the ANC. The first thing they started seeking was international relations. Most of you never knew. Mandela even came down to Enugu. To curry relationship. Even Nigeria secretly armed them for, to fight for their freedom. That's why till tomorrow there is something that will be happening in South Africa. Nigeria will tell them that you are indebted to us. Not necessary, you are indebted to us for us for you to give us money. You are indebted to us on loyalty ground because we committed our resources. We aided you in pursuing for our freedom. Yes, Nigeria contributed to South African freedom. In fact, not just contributed, Nigeria immensely contributed to that. So, but because you don't know all these things and you don't want to know, because you are very hostile to knowledge, as a matter of fact, your name is Abuche, you have known everything. And when somebody tells you that Biafra is coming next two weeks, you become more stupid than the way you were when he released that information. And next two weeks will come and go. You start transferring the aggression. The next thing you will talk is, uh, I don't know what the DOS was. Is it DOS that told you Biafra will come next two weeks? It's because you hate to take responsibility you must blame somebody but how to know a fool is he transfers blame he doesn't take responsibility nothing will happen and he said i'm sorry i blame myself for that he will say it's okay okay it's okay it's okay it's okay he can never take responsibility so that is what you must understand now let us see let us see certain individuals who have operated infiltration remember at the beginning of this program i told you we are not talking about saboteurs because we don't have saboteurs we don't have saboteurs you can only have saboteurs in the midst of war mm -hmm. it's obvious we projected two stickers what we have currently are infiltrators. So infiltrators, the security come in, know everything. They start hunting to know everything about the group organization. They find themselves. Then the next thing they do when they have gathered certain inf information, they start changing the way the people think. Just read it. I projected it earlier and it's also there. So what does infiltrator mean? A person who secretly becomes part of a group in order to get information. So when they enter, they first of all they want to do, they get information. You see, it's not saboteurs that made onion do <laughs> to move to vulnerable areas. It's not saboteurs, it's infiltrators. Because they infiltrated, came closer do everything to come closer come closer pick information and give the enemy the information to work with he said to influence the way the group thinks or behaves if what the, the chief infiltrator in finland he has made a lot of people to, <laughs> has made a lot of people to start 
thinking and behaving like animals. Because he must make you to think and behave contrary to what he made you. Now, let, me, let, let us study a few individuals who have played the role of an infiltration, uh, infiltration and how it works. But before we start bringing these individuals or showing up their images, I want to make a balancing here for us to understand. You see, those who are infiltrating you are infiltrating you for their own interest. They want to, like for instance, the movement for Biafra restoration is a threat to Nigerian unity. Take note of that. You see, we keep on telling you the way it is. If you don't like it, unfollow. It's as simple as that. One of those things we have never chased is who follows and who does not follow us is inconsequential, it's baseless. It doesn't, it's not part of the pursuit. So for instance, because I want us to understand this, when you understand that it's, it's all about interest, it's all about conflict, you cannot strive to win, not wait to win. These are two different things. You can either engage to win, which is the right thing, or you wait for winning. Only heaven knows when you wait and get it. So, Biafra, the, the, the pursuit of IPOB is a threat to Nigerian unity. And of course, when you talk about Nigerian unity, you're talking about Western interest. Because there is no country that is beneficial to the black race called Nigeria. When people talk about Nigeria, they are talking about extended Western athletes. When you want to talk about countries, you can say countries that are beneficial to the black race. You can talk about Rwanda, Ethiopia, you know, Tanzania, Burkina Faso is waking up. These are countries that are black oriented. Well, Nigeria is purely a Western athlete. What they did, they just organized internal teams, placed them strategically. Then the rest of the goal labels can go to die. They don't give it down. So what am I trying to say here? Before we project certain images, I want you to understand something. Just the way you are praying for Biafra's emergence, those who are benefiting from Nigeria, those who are taking Nigerian resources unaccountable, they are house niggers who are also looting. They are also praying that the project called Biafra ends today. That IPOB should collapse. Also, their prayer. Is their prayer evil? This is where the concept of relativism comes in. To them, it's not evil because it's interest. To you, it's evil. So, to them, our prayers for Biafra restoration is evil. To us, it's a righteous prayer. You see, the concept of relativity, what is relative to you or what is good to you might mean bad to me. So when you understand that, then you understand that nothing, absolutely nothing, can come to you except you vigorously persuade. And that is where it's important for us to understand how the world functions. So let's look at some of infiltrators. We analyze how they operated, how they ended, how their chapter. The first character we want to look at here is uh, uh, General Esme Khan. Um, this character, let's uh, see him. 
or before that let's look at um, for that let's look at uh, Poland um, let's look at this character let's look at certain infiltrators okay um this is uh, Mr. Poland um, he was sentenced in America to serve in prison for 30 years. We are studying certain, just few infiltrators, known popular stories, so that you can easily Google about them and uh, know more than I, you know. Ordinarily, there are millions of infiltrators all over the world. Now, let's look at this. This person is Poland. He this man served uh, as a civilian analyst. He's, a, he's, a, he's an Israeli. He was serving in US Navy as a civilian analyst. Now, for your information, that's why I say we must be thinking. Israel and Americans are not enemies. <laughs> that will agree with me. They're not enemies. But what happened is that why this guy was working for U.S. Navy, the Israeli government contracted him as an agent to gather information. Because I told you that the work of infiltrator is different from the work of a saboteur. So this man was not there to blow up any American vessel. No, that is what saboteurs do. And I told you saboteurs work is during the time of war, when wars are ongoing. That is where you see saboteurs. That was why our fathers were shouting saboteurs during their own time because saboteurs can only be known or seen working where there is war. They blow up things. But in this case, this man is an infiltrator. He was not a saboteur he was an infiltrator so he entered american organization just the way the work of an infiltrator was defined earlier on the stickers we projected so he entered american organization the american navy as a civilian analyst so he was strategically positioned to where information were flowing And he was transmitting those information to Israeli government. Was Israeli government an enemy of America? Absolutely no. So why was Israel dispatching infiltrators to infiltrate and spy America? It's simple. Because Israel understands that there is no security in where they are not in control of. Israel believes if her eyes and ears is not there, they can't trust it. Even though it likes, let Abraham be the one running the show. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. Unlike us, just tell us anything, whether we are there to confirm it, we believe. You now see the gap, why they are successful and why we are not successful. It's a mindset. No people can be greater than how they think. It's practically impossible. No people can be greater, no people can have a greater result than how they think. If people are gullible, everything about them will be gullible. Every result will be gullible, 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 gullible. Want. If people are critical, everything about them, every result, it will be impeccable, indisputable results, in, you know, unrefutable results. But when people are story lovers, illusions, you tell them something, they don't ask questions. They become stupid. You tell them after this referendum, next two weeks, Biafra will come. 
and they buy it too. They will just they will die in their fully. And if a certain generation comes in and refuses to have a reorientation, the same faith that awaits their father will still await them. These are natural sequence. Nobody is causing anybody. I want you to under let understand it. Israel <laughs> wasn't an enemy of US. They were not in any code relationship. Yet Israel sent Paul out this man as an infiltration. Now, you see, this is a, a normal friend. So America and Israel, they were all friends. And yet, there are activities of infiltrators. Infiltrators were ravaging everywhere. Now, imagine IPOB. Imagine Namde, Mazen Namde Khan <laughs> pursuing a self determination. Then you think both Britain, both America, both Nigeria will not flood everywhere with infiltrators. Are you normal? Is is when question not talking shit. These are what I, I know I started from this man so that you understand. Two friendly nations. Infiltrators were rampaging. This one sent, this one is also spying. Then how much more a movement like IPOB that is seeking to separate from the then you think Everybody that says to you, Shalom, you now open up yourself. Hey, watch neck, Shalom, Mecca. You are foolish now. <laughs> you are foolish. You are foolish. <laughs> In fact, you are definitely going to be a victim of circumstances. So that is for this month. Now let's look at another character. Let's look for another character. Huh. Uh, our people, uh, we must learn. We must learn. Let's look for another character. Um, okay, um, we are looking at uh, Pregozin. This is a, a founder, or should I say one of the founders of Wagner Group. He is an infiltrator, but he never started as an infiltrator. Take note of that. He never started as an infiltrator at the earlier stage. But at a time, he was contracted to do a dirty job. You see, I still want us to understand that Nobody was born infiltrator. You, by the time certain individuals can be contracted based on a certain thing. And let me also tell our people, oh, my heart is really burning. But I pray okay, okay guides me from being cautious of things I say. Because this is a, very, a highly sensitive topic we are talking about. Now, let me tell you something for those of you who care to listen. You see, there is, when state actors are pursuing or seeking for a contract for an infiltrator, it doesn't matter the, the high place that person is placed. They will definitely reach out for you. It doesn't matter where you find yourself. The Poland we discussed, we saw his role was to spy U.S. military intelligence, and classified information, and push it down to Israel. Now, Peruzzi case was quite different because he was an ally of Putin. In fact, he was 
putting chef, which means he he prepared what Putin is. So you can understand that that's the level of confidence. And of course, because he was a friend of Putin, as Putin was growing in terms of political career, he was also carrying him along. To a point, Putin encouraged him when he decided to float a private security group known as Wagner. Hmm. Putin encouraged him and said to him, I support that initiative. Now, why did I take time to narrate? Because our people are very gullible. Sometimes they say, eh, <clears throat> Mazen Nam the Kanu said. Mazen Nam the Kanu said. Uh, Ebelima is bringing a new dimension. You, you are naive now. So that Mazen Nam the Kanu said that does, does in any way stop him, uh, the infiltrator not to do his job. This man, Putin, Putin gave him one of the best accolades, best recognition best channel for him to excel in career does, does did he stop him from turning to be an infiltrator at a time at a, def, a defined time of life black man does not reason because i'm oh, sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry some of the black people do not reason because we are so emotional we so attached do you know why that's why we have the best folklore the best story lies. Black literature, although it's mainly on primary sources, you know, but for those of us who did uh, linguistics or literature, you would agree with me that the black race have the highest told stories. Because we like stories. <laughs> we love stories. Hey, Mazenam, this guy will say he's bringing a new dimension. So therefore, I should post my brain. I should not be critical. I should not be evaluating. I should not be reviewing. For your information, this man you see so, hmm, was a chef to the Russian president. Was one of his confident, confident was supported by the Russian president to float a private military organization known as Wagner. But do you know what happened? When the war in Ukraine broke out, the West began to shop for an infiltrator. They began to look for who is going to who are we going to, you know, get to infiltrate, get information, we want to know what is happening in Moscow, we really want to know what is happening within Crimea, we really want to know where is Putin, what is he doing, what is he thinking, where is he going next tomorrow, we really, we really, we really, we really, we really. And as at that time, this man had gotten a lot of contracts, security contracts in Africa, in Central African Republic, in Niger, in Egypt, in Sudan, in Libya, in Mali. He was flying into Africa and living. And the Western intelligence we are busy meeting him in a, in Africa, not even in Moscow. Sometimes when he goes to Africa, he meets Western agents secretly, and they were told they told him they are going not they are not going to sanction his interest 
You know, remember at that earlier stage, it was sanction, sanction, sanction. They promised him, they promised him heaven and earth. And they told him to use his Wagner group to polarize Russia. I'm going to explain to you what I mean by polarization. Because, you see, this evening topic is really, really deep. They didn't tell him to go and kill Putin, you know, because it would be a difficult task. They didn't tell him to go and start bombing inside Russia. It would be a difficult task. But they told him, you have to polarize Russia. What do you mean by polarization? Position yourself as a leader who loves Russia than Putin. Position yourself as a leader who wants to defend Russia than Putin so that the people will divide their love no longer to the Russia Federation or Putin who is governing it. But some will go to him and some will go. Now, when that is achieved, it's easy for him to divide Russia into two because some laws are for him now. These are secret agencies' operation. Uh, they don't rush it. It's a sequence. It's things they gradually implement. They don't do it like a lazy and a stupid part, some of us, who believe that everything is noise. No, 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 no. They sequentially execute it. Polarization. And that was also what the chief infiltrator did in IPO. He came and polarized. But thank God for the US. He that was exactly what this man attempted doing in Russia. He first of all never attacked Putin directly. He first of all attacked the former chief of army staff. The man is the currently secretary of the Russian Federation. He was hammering that the man was corrupt, that that's why Russia could not, we never win the war in Ukraine. That the man was envying him. Look at the, look at the stories. You, if you, if you're reasonable, you start relating it with the method the chief infiltrator also used. He said the man was corrupt. That the man was envying him. That uh, Putin should allow him to have any kind of arms he wants so that he can overrun Ukraine. And they were carefully watching him. They also had information about whom he was discussing in Africa. Anytime he flew to Africa, whom he was discussing with. The Russian intelligence agency was on top of it. They knew his inner out. But first of all, he did not attack Putin because if he attacks Putin directly, the Russians might be skeptical about. He first of all attacked Putin ally, the chief of army staff, that he was corrupt, that he doesn't want him. He's envy of envious of him. That is exactly what some of these uh, auto idiots goes about. Hey! you guys are jealous of him. You cannot do what he's doing. Same method. Same approach. Same everything. And the one incident, he threatened to lead Wagner. Already by then he has convinced. One good, one funny thing about this word is that even though you're a setter, you will definitely have people who will reason along way with you. It's the way nature has made it. He was able to convince some Wagner officers and they threatened to come to Moscow. Most of you remember that incident. And Putin was able to manage that. No one gun was shot. When he did that, he almost succeeded in breaking the loyalty, dividing Russia. 
remember infiltrators business is always to make the people to start thinking the other side and he finished that went to africa so I have to tell people who sent him that CEO. You see how we shake them. You know, these are some of the uh, stories, some of these guys, we, uh, you see, we have, we have almost destroyed you. Uh, you see, you see, you see, you see. He went to Africa to tell these guys how he almost overrun Moscow. And at that point, Moscow had to take a hard decision. On his, way, on his way coming back, he just got blew up on the air. And that was the end. And that unity was restored back. And you can see Russia today is almost finishing the war in Ukraine. And that, that, that was how this infiltrator, you know, um his the rise and his fall so let's also talk about another character very very important because uh, our business is to learn our business is to learn when the business of learning Okay, um, we are talking about uh, General Isman Khan. Uh, this man, this is the same person, whether you see him there, uh, on this particular picture, he's putting on IDF uniform. Speculatively, or should I say, allegedly, he said to this one of the pictures he took. In one of his uh, visit to, or uh, he's currently working with the Israeli Defense Force, and here also you you saw him putting Iranian military regalia. So this is same person, this is the same man. Um, currently something is going on in Iran, and uh, this man has has been fingered in several high-profile assassination done by Israeli forces against Iranian allies and of course Iranians as well. His name is General Esman Khan. He's a leader. He's leading Iranian foreign forces. And if you understand Middle East conflict to where you will understand that the core enemy of Israel in Middle East is Iran. And to Iran, the core enemy of Iran is Israel. So the two countries have been keeping Middle East of late to be a warm region. I mean Israel and Iran. They have been you know, making us feel that uh, we are close to Armageddon. So, something happened recently. You remember a lot of Iranian top government officials have been assassinated by Israel. And lastly, the secretary of Hezbollah was also killed in Lebanon. In fact, that rose up curiosity. Hezbollah, the, the members of Hezbollah began to ask questions. How did Israel got to know that the assassinated man was where he was at that time? And also, some Iranian top leaders who were killed. How, who told Israel that they were flying into Lebanon or Syria at that particular time? 
they began to dig out and they discovered that this man is the same person that this man who have occupied a high position in Iranian government I told you he is a army chief in charge of Iranian foreign forces it now came to the knowledge of the Iranian government that this man have been an agent of Israel is a Mossad agent. He has been an infiltrator within the Iranian government. So most guys that were killed, he was the one who told Israel where they are, at what time, what they are going to. And I told you, don't forget, not a junior officer in the Iranian security forces. So, uh, one of um, a pro-Israel writer published this picture showing that he's currently in Israel. So he's a top Iranian general. But everything that was happening in Iran, he was disclosing to Israel. Now, somebody will be tempted to ask, what prompted that? Why should he? And that is where we must put our ears down. There are certain things you must look out on whosoever, remember the word, whosoever. That you put your trust on, irrespective of whom that person is. Whenever a man is insatiable with wealth, he's so crazy for wealth that he it has never occurred to his mind uh, that immediately man drops dead, everything becomes so irrelevant and useless. Any time you entrust your loyalty or allegiance to a man that had quest for primitive accumulation, it's only God that can save that man from sliding it off. Only God is vulnerable. Because this particular man in question was offered a lot by Israel. That is one of those things Israel does. Israel always offer a give you an offer that it will be difficult. Israel, US, a lot of Western countries do the same. They offer you, they give you an offer that it will be extremely difficult for you to reject. Of course, this is where the kind of religious philosophy that is being embedded in a people matters a lot. I will tell you something. And I want you to research. When the Europeans came, It was so difficult for them to recruit infiltrators amongst our ancestors. They find it difficult. Do you know why it was so difficult for them? It was so difficult for them because the religious philosophy our people had was that when a man ends when a man lived his life wrongly and dies, that he will come back, he will be returned back to the earth. In Igbo cos uh, cosmo uh, yes, cosmology, it is called Elo Owa. In Yoruba, it is called Abiku, if I'm not mistaken. 
reincarnation. So our, the, our ancestors impregnated themselves with that religious philosophy that he, when you err, you return back, you suffer it in your name as you're returning back. So people became so cautious because they don't want to return back here and suffer the consequences of their actions and inactions in their previous world. So you're careful because when you exit, you don't want to return back and start suffering. When the Europeans came and saw such a wonderful uh, religious philosophy that it was so difficult for these people to, sabot uh, to, to infiltrate, to sabotage themselves, they have to now introduce to them a funny one that not, you are not returning back here. When you die, you go there, you die in heaven or hell. Because they need to, point, to, to weaken that ideology that upholds them on the face of integrity. You need to deflect it. When you want to destroy people, look at how they think. What do they believe in? What is their ideological base? Put up a counter ideology. You see it watered down. I hope. Let me see how many, how many hours we have gone. Oh, we are almost going two hours. So we do everything to random. So they have to now put up a counter war. That was exactly what happened. So this man was penetrated and he undermined the security of Iran. Also on the contrary, for balancing, so that you, most of you will understand, it's not just only Israel that runs this kind of operation. Recruitment of infiltrators happens everywhere. Even there are Israelis also contracted by Iran. I will give you instance. The day Iran launched the missile against Israel, why that missile was successful, why that attack was successful, Remember, that was not the first attack Iran have launched a missile. There was a time Iran launched, and it was all of them were almost intercepted. No one of them felt in Israel. But this second one had almost 70 something, if not 80 success, success or successes. The reason being that Iran also within Israeli military. Iran also had agents that told Israel, sorry, that told Iran that if you want this thing to be successful, we will tell you when Iron Dome is having a less interceptors. We are going to tell you the right time when Israel is running short of stock on her iron dome system mm -hmm. it was people within israeli forces that shared those information to iran So, it's very important for you to understand it, that the two parties run the same thing. So, General Ismail, whose picture you're seeing so, is an Mossad agent occupying a sensitive position in Iran. So that you understand how these things work. So when you understand all these things, you will not be too relaxed. You will not be too gullible. You will not see all those stories and you start jumping up. And we are talking about the last infiltrator here before we come to the end of this. Because we, are, we have already blew, blew up almost uh,
you know I'm almost blew up uh, So we're going to look at the last infiltrator we we have to discuss today. Okay, um, this is the last infiltrator we need to talk about. So that uh, for balancing and for you to understand. Well, this is an infiltrator that was sent to infiltrate IPOB and is important. Uh, most of you understand it for what it is. You see, uh, it's also important to understand the definition of an infiltrator. Here, um, let us understand the definition. Okay, um, this is the last infiltrator we are going to discuss before we come to the end of uh, this program. Okay, remember the definition of a person, if you, the meaning of infiltrator, a person who, sec who secretly a person who secretly becomes part of a group in order to get information or to influence the way the group thinks. He comes to get information. Did he play that role? Absolutely he did. Yeah. You know, when uh, Berima arrived, the members of the DOS actually warned, yeah. warned immensely that this guy doesn't mean well for this struggle. But uh, because uh, he lobbied himself in through the siblings of Mazoniendu, and I strongly believe what must have paved way for him is the cash. Is the cash. So I strongly believe that um, what must have paid way for him might be the cash he must have thrown in around those who did PR for him. Especially Kanonta did a wonderful PR for him. They were the ones who marketed him to him. Even when the members of the DOS were, you know, when the members of the DOS were, the DOS were warning that this might not end well. Nobody cared. Well, because a PR was going on. Him in connection with those American women. You know, a lot of money was mapped out. They were all around doing, you know, pushing, pushing, pushing. Allow him to speak on radio. Allow him. Remember the way infiltrators operate. They want to have access to the heart of the group. Like the definition above said. And he entered, positioned himself. Immediately he positioned himself the center of gravity the man at which attention was anchored which is Mazen Nando has to be taken off in order to create a replacement I you know I am the type that I put up events based on chronological and arrangement sequence. So he entered, immediately he was positioned because before his entrance, they have successfully perfected 
the arrangement of picking onion do by making sure it was you know it was a, a kind of a comprehensive operation those who are acting the religious angle blowing prophecy here here and there they has to run away from members of the dos that they see him you know those ones who are busy like the, the, what is this guy the, uh, there was this guy that was making noise a lot of them these are people who had state funds in their pocket they were all arranged then the women group in america some of them are meant to say some of these women in america were also those ones who were already positioned to create their own problem too and of course barrister Loy convincibly was telling onion do even though you're an african country international law does not guarantee you to be arrested so you can come down to africa nothing will happen and they did it so it was a comprehensive operation Onyendu goes here, he hears something that is in consonance with right, center, down. Why is it important for you to know this thing so that you understand how life works? For so many of us, you might be underestimating the danger facing you. So immediately he was removed then. The next thing you had was Kalanta saying, Onyendu said he should speak on radio. He should be in charge. Hmm. And the same Onyendu is asking today, where, where is this guy from? A lot of contradiction. Projections were made to make sure he was at the center of control. And of course, the DOS stood their ground. But because he's an infiltrator, he has done the first one, which is information gathering. The next one is to influence the way they do things. And that was the next project. How did he do it? He started with the idea of he do. It started with the idea of Hindu to make sure that people think out of what they were known. The idea of Hindu, the idea of violence. When the idea of Hindu was going, remember he was projecting Hindu, him and Nelly, the one you're seeing the picture beneath, beneath, and the other little little kiss there. When they were projecting it, it's just that our people have a, most of our people have a low memory. And discovered that was not, the people writing script for them discovered that it seems as if our people are suspicious of those narratives. They switch and say, no, we are, what we are doing is Biafra and we are doing IPO. Because that almost cast it. And the next thing was get the people's mind from pursuing diplomacy because the script writers understand that any day we start being serious with international relations, who becomes our friend, who are we going to reach out to, who are, that that day we will start creating global sympathy and winnings. In order to destroy that agenda, he started brainwashing you with, I will do it. We will bring this down. We will bring this down. We will do this thing. You ask yourself, do you have the capacity? Taliban, the freedom fighter in Afghanistan, never had that capacity. The Israelis, even to tomorrow, don't have that capacity. They rely on their allies. 
Earlier, I told you about ANC. How Nigeria also assisted them. They never had their capacity. Any freedom fighter before or now had depended, every successful one anyway, because not all of them were successful, and not all of them today is going to be successful. But if you check those who had successful quest for self-determination, one thing that achieved immensely is international relations. I will give you a stance. If you go to Palestinian politics today, you find out that the PLOs are having missions all over the world. They are sending ambassadors almost all over the world. And what is Hamas doing? Hamas can only ignite problem that will destroy, that will give Israel advantage to expand. Can't you see what is going on in Gaza? Where Hamas was previously in control of. Because they ignite a fire that will consume them because they were not prepared. And that is exactly what the chief infiltrator is trying to achieve. Ignite a fire when our people are not prepared. I told you, you, don't, you, 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 you cannot even go and research. There is no group that are seeking for whatever they are seeking. The house what they have what it takes to procure whatever they want. But you can tell an illiterate that you're buying a ship, you're buying a war jet, you're going to show your armor tank. So, and the idiots will believe. Even when channels of tributaries, you are not in charge of it. But because infiltrators are meant to entertain the people, deceive them, the gullible and they keep fooling themselves. So we're not going to waste much of our time because we have already spent enough. It is almost two hours we have done. So we are going to come to the end of this program today. Thanking you for the time. And I say good night.